I recently created these two viral style real animations in After Effects and I'm going to show you exactly how I did them step by step in this tutorial. I'm going to import a black background I use for most of my videos is basically some particles in a dark interior room, some blur. Let's make it a little bit bigger so that it fills up the entire screen. Lumetri color. Drag it onto that layer and let's turn down the exposure by that's going to make it really dark. I found this sort of lens flare video on Pixabay. I took a screenshot of it and I'm basically going to use it as an overlay. So let's just import it, rotate it by 90 degrees. I'm going to make it way bigger. I'm also going to apply some Gaussian blur right here. I'm going to set the blurriness to around 50. In order to make this overlay a selected custom color, we need to add a new solid. I want to opt for green. So let's opt for a dark version of the color you've chosen. So dark green in my case. Go over to toggle switches slash modes below. Toggle that option and change the deep green solid blending mode to soft light. And now let's go to the layer with the lens flare overlay and set it to lighten. Select these two layers. Hit control shift plus C. That's going to pre-compose it. And now we also need to adjust the blending mode of that pre-composed layer I need to change it to add. Now let's create a vignette. So I'm going to create a new adjustment layer. Search for noisy vignette because we also want to add some subtle noise. Change the amount to around yeah, 55 works and I'm going to opt for 6% of noise. Next I'm going to create this subtle flickering effect. So new solid, change the color to black. While holding the left alt button, click the stopwatch icon. Here you're going to enter this sort of code. Wiggle, 5, 10, and then outside of the parentheses, minus 90. The next step will be finding and putting the 3D model into After Effects. So in this case, in my reel, I was talking about 3D models in general and how they can improve the quality of your videos and how simple they are to use. So I can just basically use any kind of 3D model for this purpose. I opted for a chair, which is a very random choice. You'll probably need to choose a 3D model that matches the context of that video much better. So I went to a website called CG Trader in this case and I was able to find this 3D model for free and I can basically download it and import it into After Effects but you need to make sure that the 3D model is either in a GLB file format or an OBJ file format. I opted for the GLB file extension format so let me just drag it over into After Effects and it's super easy to use. I can change the orientation the rotation, the position, super cool. I'm actually going to put the 3D chair layer below everything, but on top of that black background layer. Next up, we'll be animating the chair. And in here, we will create a keyframe for scale and orientation. At the beginning, I want this to be a little bit bigger. I'm also going to adjust the base position, bring it a little bit lower. For the orientation, I'm going to do something like this. I'm going to turn it a little bit to the left. So this is the starting point of that animation. Let's go to somewhere here and let's create the end point. Let's make it way bigger, like 170, like this. Bring this a little bit to the right. If I play this back, you'll be able to notice this sort of animation. I'm also going to select these keyframes, hit F9 in order to easy ease those. And I'm also going to add some motion blur to the chair so that it has some smooth movement. Next up, I'm just going to pre-compose only the chair layer. We'll hold Shift plus C, add some drop shadow to the chair and also let's add glow. So let's increase the opacity just a little bit and let's also increase the softness quite significantly. Then for the glow, first of all, we need to change the composite original to on top. Let's change the glow threshold to something around 40-ish, glow radius to around 460, and then change the original colors to A and B colors. But now we need to change the A and B colors. So let's simply select those and opt for a bright version of the color you used for the background. So in my case, it's going to be green. And the same goes for color B. We want the chair to pan down from the top to where it is currently. Hit position, move out this keyframe further away, somewhere around here. Create a new keyframe by simply repositioning the chair, something like that. Select these keyframes, hit F9, and also I'm going to select these keyframes, go to the speed graph. Make sure you're editing the speed graph, not the value graph, the speed graph. Okay, select these keyframes and bring it to the left. If I play this back, 
nice add a new camera two node okay bring it below the black solid the adjustment layer and the green overlay and let's only turn the chair into a 3d layer and here i'm going to create a keyframe for orientation now i'm going to change the rotation factor to 31 degrees and now i'm going to move out somewhere here let's change this to zero now select these keyframes hit f9 that's going to easy ease those that's going to apply a very nice rotation effect to that chair that's still not all for the camera there's going to be a 3d space where first of all there's the chair and then we will zoom in onto another sort of object which is going to be the after effects logo and some text over there so i'm just going to move a few keyframes uh, yeah something like that i'm going to select the stopwatch icons next to position and point of interest and now right here just right after we ended the rotation of the chair change the position zoom in and now we were able to achieve something like this. However, this still is a very rough sort of movement. Hit F9, that makes them smoother. And also go into the speed graph, select this, and create this sort of hill shape, just like so. So now we're going to add a new light in order to make this even more cinematic. Let's change this to a point light. I'm going to put it below the green overlay. I'm going to place it in between the camera and the green overlay right here go to the light options and i'm going to increase the intensity quite a little bit to like 140 ish nice now let's move on to adding the text now i've got my x preset prepared it's a very basic slide down and fade in from the bottom first of all i'm going to go over to the transcript from premiere pro okay so let's start with 3d models can make the text is ready let's just pre-compose these text layers just like so. Now I'm going to add it beneath the camera. I'm going to turn it into a 3D layer. And the next step is going to be adding a drop shadow. Drag it onto that text layer. Let's put it beneath the chair. Increase the scale a little bit. Move it slightly to the left towards the end of the animation. You can get access to this project file we are working on right now, along with many other assets I share across most of the videos on my channel completely for free, simply by subscribing to my newsletter, where I do my best to weekly post quick tips, lessons, insights, and free assets that are exclusive to the newsletter. The goal of this newsletter is to help you guys level up your video editing skills and go full-time. Once you confirm the incentive email, you'll access this page, where I publish the assets I create or use in the video. And you also get exclusive assets that only newsletter subscribers get apart from that. So what are you waiting for? Now let's move on to adjusting what's going to be here. Here's the After Effects logo. Let's drag it over into the composition. Let's scale it down a little bit. I'm going to duplicate it and recompose it. Now bring it down, turn it into a 3D layer, reposition it. I'm also going to copy the glow and the drop shadow from the chair and paste it onto the After Effects logo. And now one more thing we need to do is we need to adjust the point light position so that the After Effects logo is bright enough. Something like this looks really nice. And I'm also going to change the glow color to the color that the logo has. Now this After Effects logo really lacks motion. At first, I'm just going to remove the After Effects logo from the beginning here because it's not necessary and it just gets into the frame. Yeah, okay. Let's make it so that at the beginning, it's going to slide down from the bottom. Hit F9, adjust the speed graph, bring it to the left, maybe even more. Okay, I like it. Now, again, we need to add some text. Your workflow in After Effects way faster. Again, pre-compose. Paste the shadow onto these text layers. Let's turn these into 3D layers. We're going to have to reposition those. Now that's a little bit too big. Let's just bring it back. And that way I just created a reveal animation from behind the After Effects logo. Next, we're going to create this super cool graph effect and we're going to keep it in the exact same style of the first animation. So I've got a new composition here. Let's just go to the initial one, copy the background, the camera, the light, everything except for the object. Paste it in here. Now we need to rearrange this slightly because it didn't copy in order. Let's delete all the keyframes and all the adjustments that have been applied. In terms of the position, let's start off with the graph itself. So I'm going to use 
use this pen tool. I'm going to change the color to white. Make sure that you make sure that you have no fill color selected. And now let's draw this sort of graph. First this line and then Okay, I'm going to need to bring it a little lower. So now I'm going to change the stroke color to this vibrant green. And I'm just going to create a line that's going to go like this. Okay, now I'm just going to bring this layer below the white ones. And now I'm going to copy the glow and the shadow from the chair. I'm going to paste it onto that layer. Create a new solid. Okay, it can be a black solid. And I'm going to apply the grid effect. And I'm going to change the blending mode to add. I'm going to change the opacity to 49. And I'm also going to change the opacity of the entire solid to around 15%. Now I'm just going to use the rectangle tool, just like so. This needs to be a little bit longer. And this needs to be a little bit shorter. In order to animate this line, let's go to that shape layer, expand it, click add and go to trim paths. Look what happens. 0, 100. So we're going to keyframe that, go to the end, bring this forward, go to the beginning of the animation and set this to 0. I can also select these and hit F9 in order to easy ease them. It's time to select all the layers that we've created. Hit Ctrl Shift C in order to pre-compose these. Now bring the pre-composed layer below the camera layer. Now once again, let's go to the initial composition and let's copy the glow and drop shadow. Come back and paste it onto the pre-composed layer we just pasted in. Now let's turn the pre-composed layer into a 3D object. First of all, I'm going to go to position and make a keyframe, then go to the left and move it to the right slightly. I'm just going to select those keyframes, hit F9. If I play this back it looks nice but it could be better let's select these let's go to the speed graph and drag it to the left make sure that you're editing the speed graph right next up let's adjust the camera settings so i'm just going to select the stopwatch next to position and i'm going to leave this here i'm going to go to the left and i'm going to make this a little bit flattened out so to say and now i'm just going to select these keyframes hit f9 again now open up the pre-composed layer with the text right here. I'm just going to copy one of these text layers. I'm going to paste it in here and let's simply adjust the text however we like it. Okay, something like that. Now I'm just going to select these two layers, pre-compose these, drop shadow and just drag it over onto the pre-composed layer. I'm going to bring the text beneath the camera. Cool. 